Hello. I just had like the sudden urge to pick up my camera and film, so here we are. I'm gonna vlog today. Um, I'm currently sat in a premiere inn in Alpham. I can't even say it. I'm here for BMC. Um, and I'm unbelievably bored and it's one o'clock and I'm not racing to half eight, so yeah. Spend the afternoon with me, come to a race with me. Hopefully it's good, we don't know. Um, future me will be able to tell you. But yeah, I've currently woken up, feel a bit grotty to be honest. Uh, which is really frustrating as I've had a really good week. Uh, I feel like I'm really well prepared for this race. Um, so hopefully I can just push that to the back of my mind, get through it and suffer the consequences tomorrow. Not that I would advise doing that, but I've kind of got to the point now where this is my last 5,000 metres of the season and we're just going to roll with it and hope it goes well. Um, as you can see, I'm currently sat with like, my hair is a bit of a grease vest, but girls will know it's got to be at the ultimate level of grease to be able to put a plait in it. So <laughs> that will happen later, but for now, uh, I'm just going to sit in bed for a bit longer before I eat more food and drink coffee and yeah, I will come back to the camera when I'm doing something else that could potentially be interesting to anybody, but probably not. Um, but yeah, anyway, well, whilst I'm here, why don't I just give you a room tour? So I could probably do this room tour from my seated location right now. Um, firstly, I literally live off Wabina, uh, coffee and water, you know, all the hydration going on. We've got a lovely window there with a view of buildings and actually the window doesn't open so can't get any fresh air. Uh, you know, it's the classic premier in room. I could probably tell you the dimensions and exactly what you're going to get every single in every single premier in around the UK as I've stayed in an unbelievably large amount of them this year. Um, got all the essentials with me. Hand sanitizer, jam, then sip. Yes, I went on Blowboy Dro and checked it was okay. You've got a bit of peanut butter and honey in there, you know, all the things we might need. Uh, TV, oh, my toes, and then, yes, another coffee over there. This is like a really raw and unfiltered uh, kind of day of a race. I think a lot of people imagine like athletes get to travel around the world and experience all these really cool locations and you know, see all these cool things, but the reality is you sit in your hotel room, you do pretty much FA all day until you go to the track, race literally just as it gets dark, um, and then come back and lie awake all night because you're literally wired with caffeine. Um, so yeah, I see literally the four walls of a hotel. I've been across the road to the garage <laughs> to get coffee. Um, and I went for a two and a half mile run this morning, so it's not really that exciting to be honest. Um, I really wish I could say it was, but it's not. So, I'm going to show you my outfit of the day laid out before I get changed later. Um, honestly, this is like the most exciting moment of the day so far, so please just bear with so I'm trying not to get too excited about it but as you can see I've got plenty of stuff um I'm actually going home I haven't just packed a whole massive suitcase for two days in London um but yeah I will show you what I choose <laughs> It's right. Um, as you can see, got quite a lot of stuff. Uh, firstly, race kit. Not very exciting, but we're going for this crop top and these briefs. Whoop. And I actually don't race with socks on, but I wear them up in these. And I literally only only wear these for races. Uh, these are my race socks. They are about 
six years old now, but they literally come with me to all the races I do. So yeah, that is what I'll race in. And then spare socks, obviously. Um, long sleeve, zip up, and then we've got this, it's actually inside out, but this new balance tank actually yeah it's inside out this new balance tank which i will put over my race kit um jumper i honestly i love this nike jumper so much um but yeah post race um the essential jacket we are in britain so it's probably gonna rain um the number of people who ask me about this jacket it's unreal um but I actually sadly think it isn't sold anymore, but it's from Sports Shoes. Um, and I know they've actually got some new, new like current season ones on there now, which I have my eye on, but it's a great jacket. Um, and it's got really good amount of pockets, which is useful. And um, then shorts to go for my briefs because I ain't gonna be running down the streets of London with my bum cheeks hanging out. Um, but yeah, these I love. Uh, Nike flappy shorts. Do you call them flappy shorts or or what? But yeah, so that's gonna be my outfit. pizza because i am starving um but yeah i didn't really manage to film anything at the race because uh, when i arrived the car park was full and i had to try and find somewhere else to park as for the race it i didn't run what i wanted to um i won which you know you can never be upset with winning a race i think i ran 15 38 but i haven't checked the results so i'm not that sure so you know, where does that leave me now? I'm going to park the 5k for the rest for the, the season. I think I've run like eight, eight or nine of them this year, all within 10 seconds of each other, uh, which, you know, I can get an A star for consistency. That would be great. Um, but yeah, I think that's it for that. I've got one more race left this track season. I'm racing 1500 in Manchester on Wednesday, uh, which will be fun. I'm looking forward to it. Um, <clears throat> then I got a couple of road races. Morning. <sighs> Morning. So it's now Sunday and it's 7.45 in the morning. And surprisingly, I actually slept for like six hours last night, which post-race is pretty good. Um... So I'm going to go up, make a coffee and go out for a run before I drive back to my dad's house. So, yeah, that's the plan for this morning. So, I have got myself up. I have been for a run and it's unbelievably humid. I actually didn't realise it was quite so hot. But, yeah, I did 10 miles in the end. Basically went to this park and ran around it about six times and then ran back um because i didn't really want to get lost and um yeah that was basically what i did i think i did eight no 10 miles in hour nine minutes and 45 seconds or something so just some seven minute miling um but yeah that's me done for the day now i'm going to have a wash pack my stuff up and get in the car for another nice drive um I've sort of run out of podcasts to listen to, so if anyone has any recommendations, please drop them below. 
um, because I'm continuing, continuously listening to things I've already listened to and I can't have another Ed Sheeran karaoke as I did on the way here because I think <laughs> I think I might sc crack the glass of my car windows um, right anyway I'm just wittering on that okay so I think this is my final premiere in stay of the season it's quite sad um, so yeah I'm going home um, obviously ridiculously large size bag but yeah that's it I'm off so I am having the worst journey back home I've currently been in the car for like three three and a bit hours and I'm still like an hour away and it was only meant to take two hours 45 minutes so that's great I've just stopped at the services to get some lunch and oh god I'm getting hand sanitizer everywhere now um lunch and a drink I got an egg and bacon sandwich and a classic bottle of Diet Coke. So that's, um, I'm just gonna balance you. Oh, this is not a nice angle. Um, that is where I am currently at right now. Another glamorous side to traveling around the UK for races. Um, I can assure you back in January when everyone else was in lockdown, your sat nav time usually was correct and service stations were not absolutely rammed, but it's, you know we're getting there and um, there's not that long to go now um it's actually really hot anyone who knows me knows that i don't have air con in my car i also have wind down windows and no central locking so this is a really unpleasant journey because the inside of my car is like a freaking oven um but yeah there we go <laughs> cold coat hits differently anyway I am gonna whack on the... So I'm just editing this video and obviously I forgot to do an outro on any of the days that I was traveling or racing. So I'm now sat at home. I'm thinking it ends really randomly with me just sat in my car. So this is just a, a goodbye really. Um, see you in the next video I decide to make. Uh, maybe I never won this week because I kind of feel like I should get more consistent at this. But you know, famous last words and all that probably won't happen. Uh, but as for now, I will see you again soon. Goodbye. Oh, and don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel so you can be up to date with all my latest uploads.